Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakahakudash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopefully elect. All right. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Okay. Proverbs 1 and 20 says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered with her voice in the streets. She cried in the cheap place and concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered with her words saying, How long will ye simple ones love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Okay. So right, it says uh, wisdom cried out, she uttered her voice in the streets, in the chief place of concourse, all right? That's the prophets, okay, who are out on the highways and byways, okay, speaking uh, through the Spirit on behalf of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, all right? You see, um, not being confined to a building, all right? But out on the highways and byways, okay, as the Lord Yahweh Shah commanded, um, you know, the disciples to go out and teach, okay. You see, so verse 22 again, it says, How long ye simple ones when ye love simplicity, and scorners delight in their scornings, and fool hate, fools hate knowledge, okay, because um, a lot of our people, whom are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right. Uh, despise this word they hate knowledge all right when it comes to hearing uh, hearing these words okay they're uh, they can't they can't accept it and really ultimately it was not meant for them to uh, accept it all right you see it all the time you know uh, being out on the highways and byways you know uh countless of, of, of our people just walk by all right um you know not taking heed okay shaking their head maybe having thoughts in their minds look at these guys they they <laughs> out here crazy wasting their time you know what i'm saying whatever kind of thoughts they have you know may not even you know say anything okay or you have those that actually come up and start scoffing you know Threaten, threaten the prophets, threaten the men of the Lord, man. You see, uh, because they can't uh, agree or accept these words, man. This wisdom that's that's being, you know, given out. All right, you see. Um, verse twenty-three. Uh, it says, "Turn you at my reproof." Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Okay? Turn you at my reproof. Okay? Receive that correction. Okay? Because hey, that's what the word is. It's, you know, used uh, for reproof, for correction. Okay? You see? Um, verse 24 says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right. So, hey, this is the Lord, you know, calling out through his men as as uh, he's always always have done, man, in times of old. Okay. Uh, what did he tell Ezekiel, man? Okay. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to uh, get that Ezekiel 3. All right. Real quick. Uh. I'll start from the top. This is Ezekiel 3 and 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. Okay? Consume the whole scroll, the whole doctrine. Okay? Uh, you see? Not go out and, and make up stuff on the fly. All right? Not taking out or adding to the word. Okay? But eat uh, this roll. Eat. Uh, yeah, eat this road and speak unto the house of Israel, man. Okay. 
So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. Okay. So once again, this is of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Speak my words unto them. All right. For thou art thou art not sent unto for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. Alright? So right. We're out here for for, for Israel, man. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Alright. We were we weren't sent, you know, for the uh, other heathen nations. Okay? Yeah, we're we're commanded to to, to let them know their judgment, you know. But salvation is for whom? Israel. All right. Israel only. Okay. Verse 5, it says, For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely, had I sent them, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. Okay. But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee, for they would not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. All right. So, right, man. Just you know, imagine if 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 we were out saying, yeah, all these other heathen nations can be saved. You know, yeah, they'll 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 gladly accept that, man. All right, they'll gladly you know uh, receive the receive the message, but. You got two thirds of Israel, all right. They they don't want to hearken, all right. You see, when it comes to these words, man, all right. And to show you as well that it's not us, all right. It's not the men of the Lord that you know that you come up against that you in disagreement with. It's ultimately Yahweh Bash from Yahweh Shah, all right. You see. Verse 8, it says, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint have I made their forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be, rebe uh, be a rebellious house. Right? You see? So, right, we don't uh, have, you know, we shouldn't be uh, in fear or, or discouraged because... You know, Jake don't want to get it. You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, also, in Ezekiel, it says, uh, to, uh, to pretty much teach the gospel whether they hear or whether they forbear. By doing so, we getting the blood off of our hands. All right? You see what I'm saying? And then the, the blood is going to be on their hands because they heard this word. You see, and they chose not to, to receive it or take heed. That's on them. All right. And the point coming up is, hey, we're entering into the time of hey, the Lord's judgment, man. The Lord is getting ready to visit this place, man. OK, you see, and there won't be uh, ex an excuse. All right. For those to say that, oh, I didn't know. You see, no, man, the, the prophet's going been going out for years. All right. The word's been going out daily. All right. We have. Uh, there's so many avenues that the gospel has uh, been, you know, brought out all over the globe, you see. So there is no excuse, all right? As I said earlier, you know, just uh, the countless of Jake, or countless of Israelites that walk by the camps on a, on a weekly basis, man, all right? You see, they may not stop, they may not, you know, but they heard these words, man. Okay, they see the sign, okay, the, the 12 tribes, okay, you see, may have seen the videos of the apostles and elders on YouTube or, or various other brothers, you know, whether they, you know, looked at it for a second or two, or whatever, okay, the word has been has gone forth, all right, so there is no excuse, man, and, you know, I like to use the example of uh, Noah, 
All right, in the time of Noah. Hey, and the Lord Yahweh Shah said, in the day of Son of Man, it's going to be as those times of Noah. You see? Same thing, man. Okay? Noah was our what? Prophesying. He was giving that warning just as Ezekiel was commissioned or commanded <laughs> to be a watchman over Israel. All right? To, to give warning on behalf of Yahweh. All right? You see? But did they take heed? Uh... You know, during Noah's time? No. Okay. You see? He told them, hey, the Lord is going to uh, bring a flood upon the earth. You know? And it had never, it never rained before, man. So, yeah, that would seem or sound like a strange thing. You know? So, they was mocking and scoffing him. Just as us. Just as the uh, men of the Lord today, man. All right? All the prophets. Okay? But guess what? When that when that flood came, it was too late. You see, once that 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 door was sealed on the ark, it was it was over with. Okay. You see, you had your chance, you had your opportunity, you was given grace, right? Just like in these times. Okay, we are given grace, but it's not an occasion to, to to do what? To please the flesh. It's not an occasion to sin. Alright, it's a it's a time for repentance, man. Alright? You see, out of fear of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Understanding what's coming, that great destruction, that great, uh, uh, hey, that second flood, you know, or should I say rather the second death, which is going to be a flood by fire, okay? A thermonuclear fire, man. You see? So it all ties in, you know, it all ties in, man. It's the same, you know, uh, scenario, so to speak, for lack of terms, man. All right? But this time around, it's only going to, well, once again, it's only going to be a, a, a select few that's going to be delivered from said judgment. All right. I.e. the 144 and the uh, one third. The, all right. Amongst Israel, man. OK. So uh, wrapping up in Ezekiel 3 and 10, it says. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee. Receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears. All right, so that's the point. Okay, so let's go back to Proverbs 1 and 20. Uh, 23, where I left off it. Uh, we can start at 22 again. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right. But ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. Okay. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. All right. Just as you mock. At the men of the Lord, all right, that's, that's been out here week in and week out, you know, uh, on behalf of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, giving you that warning, but you refuse to take heed, okay? When uh, your calamity come, the Lord is going to mock and, and laugh, at you, laugh at you, okay? Because hey, we're entering into the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? You see, uh, different plagues is going to hit this place, man. All right. It's going to be a lot of death, man. All right. You see, because, hey, they think everything is funny games right now, or they think this place is going to continue to go on. All right. No. You see, the Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon the, uh, on the earth. All right. Uh, Second Ezra 15. All right. You know what I'm saying? Um, the famine. All right. It's going to be no more food on the shelves. All right. There's going to be no more McDonald's, fast food. All right. All of that's going to be done, man. The the uh, your, your basic necessities, man. Water. All of this. Hey, man, it's going to be hard to come by if, if at all, man. You see? People gonna be fighting uh, 
to, to fight you know, amongst each other to see who who gonna be the first one to get eight. Cannibalism, all that's gonna be yeah, all that's coming back, man. All right, but these people they think it's a joke. They don't, you know, they don't take, they not taking heed. They don't think these things is is, is uh actually gonna happen. But thus said the Lord, man, it will. Okay, and the Lord is not a man that he should lie. All right. Uh, Proverbs one and twenty six. Oh, and I was speaking about the account with Noah. Hey, the scripture said they knew not until the flood came. All right. Same thing is going to happen, man, this time, man. These, you know, for our people that's not taking this thing serious. All right. You know, this, hey, the scripture said, then shall they know a prophet had been among them. All right. But they're not going to know this, the, this, the reality of this or the seriousness of this until... Uh, Esau come in as a flood, start rounding uh, people up to these concentration camps. Okay, when they forcibly mandate that uh, sea hip man, to where you put in the situation, which is uh, the hour of temptation, but you put in the situation to where you had to decide on bowing down to Esau and accepting that sea hip. All right, if you want to eat, okay, you want to feed your kids. All right, you still want to work. All right, you see, hey, all of these things is is, is going to is going to happen, man. All right, you see, it says Proverbs one and twenty six. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress, distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? So, hey, that's 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 just like our people, man. That's just like, you know, Jake, you know. Jake don't consider nothing, you know, or, or until he, you know, in a situation where it's life or death. Or, then, you know, Jake laid up in his deathbed and he didn't want to try to call on the Lord. All right? Or, or you know. Nah, it's, it's too late. You see, you you had opportunity. Okay, grace was given unto you, man. All right, the doors of uh, mercy or uh, grace are uh, getting ready to close, man. You see, how the scripture just said, then they shall seek me, but shall not find me. Hey, it's, uh, in the book of Amos, it goes into a what? A famine of the word, man. Okay, this is the time. This is the time, man, to get right. Correct the error of your ways to repent and turn back unto your power, man. All right. You see what I'm saying? This is the time. Okay. Don't put off hey, what the scripture says. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Okay. Because suddenly uh, destruction cometh. Loosely paraphrasing. Okay. Putting that off from day to day. All right. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right? You won't see the, the men of the Lord will no longer be on the highways and byways. Okay? Going back to the famine of the word. All right? No more YouTube videos. Okay? Internet shut down. You know, Esau, you know, uh, you know, shut, shut down the grid, so to speak. Okay? All right? already seeing things leading up to that with the way Esau is uh, putting all these different restrictions on what you can and can't say especially when it comes to this word okay that's why brothers have to speak in code you know dealing with certain topics okay Esau's uh, flagging video flagging uh, brothers videos the uh, apostles and elders all right see it says verse 29 for they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah okay right uh, two thirds of our people do not have fear of the Lord alright it says therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices okay 
for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right. So, right, man. Okay. Which we understand ultimately, uh, you know, that's going back to the elect again. All right. That's, that's going to have that faith until the end. You know, uh, how the scripture says, the just, just shall live by faith. Okay. Um, right. You see, and, uh, and as well as the one third uh, receiving or being a part of that uh, uh, number to be delivered, okay, on this side, all right. But uh, yo, the point is, yeah, we entering in that time, man, okay. Uh, like the scripture says in, uh, in the apocrypha, uh, I believe it's uh, Second Ezra's nine, right? Uh, so like it one second. All right, this is uh, second as was the ninth chapter, verse one. It says, He measured, I'm sorry, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Okay, so that's what we ought to be doing. Okay, measuring the times. Okay, taking heed of what's going on, man. Okay, linking everything that's going on with the prophecies and uh, written in these scriptures, man. Okay, so like it. Measure the times diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like all that is made in the world have the beginning and the end and the end is manifest all right so yeah we're nearing the end man okay the end of this current age okay the end of esau's rulership okay the end of babylon the great uh america man okay this place is, is nearing this end man okay just look look at what's going on okay there are no moral standards all right uh wickedness is is, is at an all-time high okay our people are, are destroyed or through okay wilding out you see i mean hey we were in that time man that the lord spoke of all right so uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I keep I continue to read. I continue to read. It says uh, verse six, second Ezra's nine and six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder, and powerful works, and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, where ye have believed. Okay. By faith, all right, verse 8, shall be preserved from said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Okay, and that's speaking of the elect, okay, which was ordained uh, by the beginning. Okay, it was already written for, for who whoever those individuals are, okay, to be sa saved from this destruction. Okay, saved out of Jacob's trouble. Okay, out of the hour of temptation. Okay, you see, and this is what we should be fighting and laboring to be a part of that number, man. Okay, in hopes of, of being amongst those. Okay, uh, then shall they be in pitiful case. Okay, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments okay right once again going to the now we you know speaking on those that refuse to take heed the two-thirds okay despise the word of the Yahweh all right it says they're gonna be in pitiful case which have now abused my ways 
and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that loathed my law while they had yet liberty, okay, so you were given time to uh to repent, you know, to to uh rehearse the righteous acts to the best of your ability, man. To do thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright. You know. Uh while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance, you see that? Place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Okay? Just as in the time of Noah, man. Alright? You see? They despised the word, man. Despised Yahweh Bash from Yahweh Shah. I mean, why yet the Lord showed mercy by sending his prophets out. Alright. Given, you know, setting up men to give us the proper understanding. Alright? see to uh break break these scriptures down unto us okay put us back in remembrance of our heritage man going into the, our holy days man how we ought to rehearse the passover all right you see how to be you know uh men and women of uh of yahweh bashim okay that's through the mercy of the lord man all right it's like somebody lending you a hand to help you, but you you, you slapping their hand, man. You know, you despising them. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna get ready to wrap up. Second uh, was nine and eleven. It says, "And they that have loved my law, while they had yet liberty, and okay, uh, was as yet." place of repentance was open unto them and understood not but despised it the same must know know it after death by pain okay so hey the same should know it by death through death by pain man okay you see so yeah those two thirds man that despise this word they gonna go through those torments they gonna go through those uh, uh, plagues man they gonna suffer those plagues okay the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay. Uh, having a head put on the guillotine, man. You know. Uh, you see. All in a, if none of those things get them, then ultimately what? The thermonuclear destruction. All right. You see. And that should bring fear, you know. And two thirds of our people despising this word. They don't have fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. So I'm going uh, end there. Um, once again, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Shalom.